Welcome to our channel, I'm TJ Ma. So for this video, we'll talk about the sum and difference problem for PSLE questions. Now here we have an example. Given that the sum of two integers is 45, and their difference is 13, find these two integers. So the most simple way you can think of is by trying any two integers that has sum 45 and difference 13 one by one until we find the final answer. But this method will take a lot of time. So let's try to use another method. So what can we do here to better visualize all these relationships? From school, we know that we can draw a model for relationships. So let's try it. So we, let's start to draw a model for the small number. We have this. And when we are trying to draw a model for the bigger number, how long should we draw? We should draw the same length as the small number first. And then we need to plus 13 because it has 13 more than the small number. And then they have the total sum equals to 45. And here we have already drawn the model. And if we are trying to find what's the small number, what can we do here? Someone might say that we can remove the different part from the bigger number. So in that case, let's see. We have two identical small number and their total equals to 32. And what happens if we are trying to find the small number? We can just minus the 32 by 2 and give us 16. And how about if we are trying to find the bigger number? We know the difference is 13, right? So we just add the 13 to the small number, which give us 29. Ah, we have already solved the question here, but is there any other way to find the bigger number? Ooh, let's see. We can also add the difference to the small number. So in that case, look, here we have two identical big number, and they have the sum equals to 58. So if we are trying to find each big number, what should we do here? We're just dividing the 58 by 2 and give us how much? Also 29 as the final answer. And now let's do a summarize. So when we are trying to find the small number, what does this 45 mean? Oh, it means the sum. And what does this 13 mean? Oh, it represents the difference. So we can use the sum by minus the difference and divided by 2, we can get the small number. And how about this big number? The other method we use is trying to use the sum. But here we try to use the plus the difference. And from here, we divide it by 2 to get the bigger number. So here, let's move on to the next question here. Smith and Kiki with constant speed together move 220 bags in two days. This is known that Smith moved 10 more bags than Kiki each day. How many bags did Smith and Kiki move per day respectively? So here we know the total equals to 220 bags and the difference is 10 bags per day. So does it mean if we are trying to find Kiki's speed, which is the smallest speed, we can use the total and minus the 10 and give us Kiki's speed. Ooh, the answer is no. And why? Because the 220 bags represent two days and the difference 10 more represent one day. So this two number doesn't exactly mean the same thing. So in order to do it, we need to transfer the two days into one days. And we can find the total bags move per day equals to 110. And from here, let's try to draw a model from it. Starting with the Kiki speed, we have this. And if we are trying to draw Smith speed, we need to draw 10 more than Kiki speed. And they have total speed of 110 bags per day. So from here, if we are trying to find Kiki speed, what should be the equation here? So remember from the previous question, we can use the sum by minus the difference and give us 50, which is Kiki speed. And if we are trying to find Smith speed, we can use 
the 50 and by plus the 10, which is the difference to get 60, which is Smith's speed. Or we can also use another method from the previous example, which is the sum by plus the difference and divided by 2, which also give us 60. And here we have already solved this question. And moving on, we also have a practice, and I will leave the practice to you. You can leave your answer at the comment section below, and if you have any other questions about PSL questions, you can contact me through WhatsApp by scanning this QR code or subscribe to our channel. And that's all for this video, and I will see you soon in our next video.